Hey guys. Okay. I'm assuming you have probably been told that anything to the zero power equals one. And you're probably like, cool, but why? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. In order to prove that this is true, we need to agree on two things. Okay. Believe two things are true. The first is a rule of exponents. Okay. That when we divide exponents that have the same base, all we have to do is subtract the exponents, okay? If this is unfamiliar to you, I will link a video, but I'm assuming you're probably familiar with it, okay? That's the first thing we need to agree is, tr is true. The second thing you've probably been doing forever, we need to agree that when you have one number divided by itself, it's equal to one. It doesn't even have to be a number, right? If you have a variable divided by itself, anything divided by itself is going to equal one, okay? These are the two things we need to believe are true in order to say that x or anything to the zero power is one, okay? So first of all, let's look at this. If I have, hold on, I'm gonna move these down. <laughs> there we go, okay. If I have x squared over x squared, there's two ways I can look at this, right? So going this way, I can look at this as this is exponents with the same base being divided, so I can subtract the exponents. So it would look like x to the 2 minus 2, right? Which would give me x to the 0 power, right? Now, if I look at it another way, this way, are you seeing where I'm going? Where I have something over itself, x squared over x squared, that equals 1 right? Oh my gosh. So we can assume if x to the zero power equals this and one also equals this, what does that mean? That means that x to the zero power equals one. There we go. And you could do it not just with x, right? You could do it with any variable, any number, whatever you want. Anything to the zero power equals one. 